We are about to turn up your Tuesday because Whitney Cummings is in the house. Whitney co-created and co-wrote the Emmy-nominated comedy series Two Broke Girls, and she has her own podcast called Good For You. But to have the full Whitney experience, <laughs> this is what you got to do. You got to see her stand up, and now you can. She is out with her fifth comedy special. It's called Whitney Cummings Jokes here. <laughs> she looks back at some of the joys of growing up. Take a look. The day it was called Photo Day. It was our only opportunity a year to get proof of our existence, and we had to wait in line for five hours holding an envelope full of change. So you would get to the front of the line. You had one shot, dude. You get to the front, and you'd be like, all right, say cheese. I think I blinked. He'd be like, sorry, brace face. See you next October. <laughs> That's so right on. Oh right, because like kids now, they can get like eight tries till they get a good one. Yeah, right, and they have we got ups. one. We got eight sizes <laughs> of the same <laughs> picture. Sure. Right. Remember the backgrounds were kind of like ne neon it, it or just something. Just looked like a comet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like a weird blue afterbirth or something. It's like what is that? And they, so I remember being with my mom in the Walmart yeah. frame section yeah. and her being like, "What's that? What is this? A nine by one?" <laughs> <laughs> like, is this a bookmark? Like, what's this one? Is this tiny? Is this for a locket? Like, what? They didn't even have frames to fit the sizes. It was so bizarre. <laughs> they were, like, for people's wallet. Like, uh. Right. A wallet size. Yeah. Oh, my God. So did all the material for this comedy special come from, like, childhood? and all You that? know, I do feel like, you know, and it's our nature as comedians to do this, and I think people in general right now, when, you know, we're distressed, we want to focus on what divides us. Yeah, you know, yeah. I feel like everyone wants to talk about what makes us different and what we don't agree on. And I yeah. think as a comedian, you have this unique opportunity to uh, be able to play around with what we do yes. have in common and what does yes. unite us. You know, you're getting 5,000 people in one place. It's like, I don't know how you voted. I don't know what you do when you're not here. I don't care. But if we can all laugh at this. Yes. This <laughs> Can you yes. tell that we're desperate yes. for some we sort of unity? This. I feel like I just watched a, a <laughs> meme happen. Like, I watched a GIF in real time. We and were like, yes! I argue we have way more in common than we don't, you know, and we all grew up on the same toys and the same TV shows, and whether they're problematic or not, you know, we, I think, uh, laugh at a lot of the same things. Yes. So I always try to focus on, on that, and, you know, I call the special jokes uh, mm -hmm. as a way to kind of wink at people going, like, I'm not talking about politics. Yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah. Yeah. Try to. I'm not going to lecture you on how to vote. There's this yeah. new thing where comedians are being uh, thought of as like these moral high grounds. <laughs> I'm a. I'm garbage. <laughs> I'm garbage. I have no place telling you how to vote or how to live your life or what to do with your life. Like we're, um, we're experts on like what whiskey goes best with Nyquil <laughs> in, in Cincinnati on Cinco de Mayo. Like I can help you with that. Wait, does your does your cute boyfriend think you're funny? Um. Whoa. He does, yes. He thinks I'm funny, but when I'm not trying to be funny. Oh. He, he, he's sort of like, he gets to see me at my, my weirdest, so. Are you wearing this outfit because he's a veterinarian? <laughs> <laughs> I know that he's a vet, so a veterinarian. I just was wondering. That if was your wink and nod like, to your you're young like, lover. Honey, when, yeah, when I'm wearing the horse suit, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> no. No. Um, no, this is what I'm wearing, like, to try to get him to fall out of love with me. It's like, it's like remember the guy from MASH who wore a dress to try to get sent oh, yeah. home? Um, no, he's so lovely. I am dating a guy. You don't know about him yet. He's younger than me. He's mm -hmm. nine years younger than mm -hmm. I am. We met during the pandemic. He is my veteran. Uh -huh. um, I know, still got it. Um, oh, look at him. Yes. Oh, my God. He's still hungry. got it. By it, I mean money, and he has student <laughs> loans. <laughs> no one tells you ever, date a doctor, date a doctor. No one specifies doctor in their 50s. Yeah. They're poor until they're, they have debt. So what was it about him? You know, he was so calm and, and chill, yeah. and I'm such a, like, whirling dervish. Like, yeah. he just really calms me down, and oh. he never judges me. It's probably not helpful. You guys saw my hair colors during the pandemic. I probably need <laughs> someone who will be a little more judgmental. Um, but he's, like, he's just got it. He's, he takes it very my time very seriously oh. because I tell him, I'm like, you're dating a woman in her late 30s. Like, yeah. like, dating a woman in her late 30s, I say, is like going to the grocery store and buying avocados. Yeah, why so? Oh, why? We, we want to understand mean? that metaphor. You better have a plan. Mm. What do you mean? 
you better have a plan. If you're buying avocados, you better have guacamole stuff. You better have, uh, you better have <laughs> right, toast. Right, you go right fast. You have like five days. You know how this is going to end. <laughs> you don't just buy an avocado willy-nilly and you're like, I'll get to it when I get to it. Like you, the clock is, t it's now. Do you know what I'm so saying? So when you tell him yeah. that metaphor, does that scare him at all? Everything I say scares every man. <laughs> you know, I stopped worrying about scaring men a long time ago. I you used to it. date older guys. I that did. was your thing. I, I used remember. to date older guys. The problem is it's harder now yeah. because their music doesn't hit the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I date, I'm telling you, I dated an older guy. Every song on his playlist, it was like, hey, little girl, is your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, guys. Does not hit the way it used to. I used to love that song. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. No, wait, and are, uh, is, you said in the comedy special you might propose to him. I thought I might propose. To him. I just want to get ahead of it. Like I'm not trying to make some big feminist statement. I just I don't want him to get down on one knee and propose. Like I don't want him to see my neck from this angle. <laughs> you know, so I just. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of it. You think it's really the one? He's, is he the one, you think? You know, I don't know. It's weird. The pandemic made me both more trepidatious about certain things, but more reckless in other oh, ways. Yeah. Do, do you feel like yeah. that at all? Yeah. He also has all my passwords. What am I going <laughs> to so, Yeah, at that point, he's younger that. than me. He knows how to use Dropbox. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah. That's not an innuendo. That's a, <laughs> that's a program. That's a program we use. Like, he's just so useful. Like, younger guys, like, they know yes. how to, like, useful. software update. They, knew, they know all yeah, that Yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> you know? I'm jealous of that. All right, wait, stay right there. Don't go anywhere. More laughs with Whitney. She's taking us back to her childhood after this. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, I forgot the uh, raccoon. Yeah. What was the raccoon? All right. We're back with comedian <laughs> Whitney Cummings. She's got a new Netflix special. You got to check it out. It's called Whitney Cummings Jokes. Okay, Whitney has this cracking up. And Whitney, <laughs> since your special is full of all the nostalgia, really, of, of all of our childhoods. Yes. Because I started because I hear all my friends with children, they go on and on and on, where they're like, kids, they're, they have phones. They're, they're on their yeah. phones all day yeah, long. Yeah, 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 they're on, yeah, they're yeah, on their yeah. phone eight hours a day. I'm like, good. We finally figured out a way to shut them up. <laughs> um, anyway, we want to play a little game called When, when I Was a Kid. kid. Was it more dangerous then or now? Let's uh, see. Uh, all right, so let's check. People say that kids these days have it tough, but you're going to tell us that it gets worse. Let's let's listen. All right. All right. Go ahead, Whitney. You got okay, it. do I? Oh, okay. So um, I get to present some things from Whitney. our childhood that, yes. we, that we played with, because yeah. now people think phones are the most dangerous in the yeah. world, thing in the world. Okay. But let's see some stuff we played with as okay, kids. Okay, let's see. Fire. We did play with fire. What's that? Do you remember oh that? My oh, that's, that's that needle thing. thing. Yes. Do you know what it's yes, called? Yes. Your hand for, it was it called pin through. art. Pin art. Before selfies, which everyone thinks is such a huge problem, we used to take pin art, little pins, yes, and we would hands. put our it face. on our face. Yes, okay? I forgot about this that. This is why I will not allow filters to be gone from Instagram, because we need filters <laughs> to cover up the tetanus scars from jamming our head into a box of nails. Oh it was the God. only way to get an image that of ourselves. So the fact that we don't all have tetanus is shocking. But the phones are dangerous. Give us another one. Give us another okay, one. This is see. fun. Easy bake oven. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Didn't we put Play-Doh up in there? It actually worked. Wait, you could bake a cake. They gave a kid an oven with icing. You're right. This explains all, the whole Elizabeth Holmes thing to me. <laughs> this, to me, is Theranos. This is how it started. Um, yes, this. they would catch on fire, and they had to recall yes, them. they recalled them. But didn't you love it? You, like, pulled a cake out of the oven and, as a child and they were with like, a mitt. You're with three. We know mitt. what she needs to learn how to do. Okay. Be in the kitchen. Okay, what's oh, the next one? Okay, this is what so else? Good. What else? I love this. Okay, okay. A Do gerbil? any of your kids have these? No. Is that a gerbil? A gerbil? We grew up with, I had gerbils. gerbils. I the, had, uh, But what's this underneath thing? That is an ant farm. Ew. Oh, yeah. You used to no, play with bugs and rodents. Oh, yeah. right. You're right. Gerbils were in your house running on the wheel. Yeah. All the time. Oh, they yeah. were in my bathtub. We didn't have a good, they would get, they would get out. We'd yeah. put them in a fish tank and then you wake up the next morning, they'd be gone. And then yes. every happened? night you just hear, you hear, <laughs> hear scratching at the walls. It's so much worse. Okay, next one. This is good. This is fun. Oh, the oh, darts! The oh my darts. God, you threw the darts in the Lawn ring. Lawn darts. Lawn darts. Lawn we darts. Were, the point was... <laughs> you would literally just be at the playground and someone would just be like, what happened? You have a, like a, just a knife sticking out of your shoulder. <laughs> Do you remember we would just throw yes, knives at each other? They them they long were darts. Very sharp. Very sharp. <laughs> is that it? Is there one more? No, or is one that more. Please, we're begging. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Is that it? Go. 
Oh. I, you know what the other one I had? I had what, another one, what, which what, I think what? we couldn't show. But remember Garbage Pail Kids? Yes. Those, like, really creepy. Looking. And yes. kind of, like, Chucky. Yes, they were very spooky. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like those would get canceled pretty quickly today. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh, well, Whitney. Don't forget Whitney's new special. It's called Whitney Cummings Jokes. It is streaming right now on Netflix. I also Check like that we had to put you in a rocking chair. I know. Because <laughs> talking about the 90s was that long ago. <laughs> Can I Jeez. tell you, 90s music is now an oldies channel. Wait, what? Wait. It's like the rock in '90s or something. You got to be kidding It's hard. Me. It's hard. It's like Toad the Wet Sprocket. It's like Hooba Stank. You're like, what <laughs> is happening? Hootie? Get Todd and the Monsters. Hootie, Hootie? Hootie? and the Blowfish. No. Oldie? Well, he's an oldie as, as Hootie and the Blowfish, but, but yeah, as country, he's, he's a newbie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine.